Happy Tuesday, Intervention Group. Today we are doing our phrased reading with a, a part of a Henry and Mudge book, which is perfect for phrase reading, I think. So it'll sound like this. A sweetheart dance. Valentine's Day was coming. Henry and his, big dog Mudge, love Valentine's Day because of the candy. They like the little candy hearts. That said, you're swell and oh dear, and things like that. Henry read the words, and Mudge licked them off. They were a good team. Okay, starting next week, I think we're going to record these. I just got to figure out a, a, an easy way for us to do it. Now, today we're reading a nonfiction book, so it's a Remarkable Invention series. So this is Remia Jose, and she had a great idea. Um, the biography is, um, I think, really good in that this girl, it's a true story about this girl had to come up with this invention to make her life easier. So whenever you're reading nonfiction, you generally have a table of contents, which you should always take time to read because it gives you an idea of what's coming. So laundry troubles, laundry means cleaning the clothes, wishing for a machine, the perfect solution, dream machine, from dream to reality, and an invention that got attention. So when you're looking at pages two and three, that's that heading that says laundry troubles. So Remya did the laundry by hand every day after school. So it tells you a little bit about Remya, who lives in India. So she and her twin sister had a lot of work to do. So their parents were sick, so they had to do all the chores, plus they had to go to school. And one of the chores that took a really long time was the laundry. So they had to wash it by hand and they had to hang them up. So Remya was kind of frustrated with how much time it took. Now, she was hoping um, that, uh, you know, they could get a washing machine, but a washing machine, like you probably have in your house, is really expensive. Um, and in India, in this villages where she lives, they have um, a problem with electricity. So the electrical power was often out in those communities. So if Remya's family could even afford a washing machine, there's a decent chance that it wouldn't even be able to work because they didn't have electricity. So Remya had to solve her problem. So this problem was pretty similar for a lot of the families. So there you have a picture of a woman who's doing the laundry by hand. So they would talk about, um, you know, just even the process that you would have by hand. So when you're looking at page eight, it actually explains how um, an electric washing machine works, like the one at your house. So it, it goes through all the steps. And really what they have is that blue thing in the middle is called the drum. So the water goes in, the clothes are in, the detergent, which is the soap, goes in, and that drum spins. And as it spins, you know, the clothes move and the soap gets into the clothes and out of the clothes. And then, you know, there's the whole rinsing cycle to get the soap out of the clothes. And so it explains how a drum and a washing machine works. So then you get to Remya on page 11 has a drawing of something she thinks would work. So what do you notice about that? So it's kind of fun to compare. Like even on my screen, if I shrink it, you have this regular washing machine, and then you have Remya's invention that is her washing machine, and they really do have the same kinds of things. So when you look at that drum in the electric washer, she has a drum. It's this wire drum. She has this tub, which there's a tub, she has a faucet to drain the water, which is kind of like the hoses. And then she doesn't use electricity, but there's pedals on this. So I bet you can guess how she's going to work it. Yep, you are correct. She makes it like a bicycle. So her legs would be the power that's needed to rotate that drum. So really, as you read, you got to think about, you know, how smart this Remya is to come up with an actual invention that is going to save her family a lot of money and really save her and her sister a lot of time. Now, you're doing your phrase reading first, then you're reading this book, then you're taking the quiz, and then at the end, 
I did include a video because it's kind of fun to see Remya. She's a little older in the video, but it goes through and actually shows her, the real girl, and her real invention. So watch that at the end, too. It's good. So the link brings you to a website. You just have to scroll down and then hit play on the video. So it works on iPads. Okay, have fun reading. See you tomorrow.